won't be us. Man, why you lying? The seal deed up is mine. mine. Talk a lot of shit for some people who don't beat us. You've been taking these L's ever since you were a fetus, man. You what's going on, guys? Precision here, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to talk about um, what's going on with previous Call of Duty games. And the one I want to talk about the most is Cold War. And it's pretty crazy on what's going on. A lot of players are getting hacked. And when I say hacked, I mean players are getting their IPs pulled, players' games are crashing, and players are getting fake error messages stuck on their screens during gameplay that they cannot get rid of. I also find it really hard to believe that Activision is not aware of this problem because Charlie Intel tweets there is currently an exploit in Black Ops Cold War on all platforms where a person can gain access to a player's IP, crash their game, or potentially cause other issues. No indication so far of it happening in Modern Warfare 2 or Warzone 2. Activision has not addressed this nor have they stated they're aware of this problem would be the best to avoid Cold War till it's fixed. Players are already pissed off with Call of Duty developers because they cannot create a good anti-cheat and now security for this game has been breached. This also reminds me of the problem with BO3 on PC and the same problem happened. Players got hacked. Now some of the hacks that hackers were using were a little bit different. One of them being giving players bad DLC. Now basically what bad DLC did, it made the game think that player didn't own the DLC maps. Alright, so now let me get back on topic with Cold War. You guys may just think this is only happening with multiplayer. Well, it's also happening with zombies as well. There were two streamers who were playing zombies who got their game crashed by a hacker on a very high level on zombies. I hope the developers of this game really do fix the problem because I like to come back to this game once in a while to play it for fun. And now I need to unfortunately avoid the game at all costs. What the developers really need to do is step up their security a little bit and roll out an update for players to install so players are safe to play this game again. Now getting off topic a little bit, I want to talk about Vanguard and Modern Warfare 2. Now let's be honest, a lot of players hated Vanguard and so did I, but a lot of players are still playing that game and a lot of people are saying that game is unsafe to play as well. Now as for Modern Warfare 2, I don't see people really hacking that game too much. All I know is that people are cheating, like using infinite slide and walls. It's pretty sad to see what's been going on with these games. And I really do hope, once again, that the developers do step their security up and make these games safe to play again. I am currently more worried for Modern Warfare 2 because that is currently what my content is based off of. Since there has been some talk of Modern Warfare 2 possibly getting hacked as well. Which means I won't be able to roll out any content if that happens to that game. At this point, I am really getting sick of the bullshit and the hackers and the cheaters in these games because it just makes the game not fun anymore and, like I said multiple times, unsafe to play. Which is why all Call of Duty players wish for games to come out like X to Planet, but that doesn't seem like it will be released until next year. PC players try to play older games like Modern Warfare 2. Well, the good one, with a free client called Plutonium, but that has a risk of getting shut down due to copyright issues. Clients have already been shut down, like SM Squared, which hasn't even been completed yet, and the BO3 client. So to stay safe, the best thing to do is to play the most recent Call of Duty, well, that is if you could stand it, or avoid Call of Duty at all costs if you don't like Modern Warfare 2. I personally don't have a huge problem with Modern Warfare 2, so that's why I play it. So I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the rest of this double nuke gameplay. Me and this kid dropped a nuke together, which was pretty awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next one.
He got it. Here, don't call it. Don't call it. No. Bro, if he calls it, I'm gonna freaking rage. Okay, now it's just steal my freaking kills, dude. I'm on the left, I'm backing up, bro. Two and a half minutes to drop this thing. Oh my god. There. Dang, he is still popping off. Oh, he died twice. I didn't even know he died once. He died? I got many and I got minute fifty seconds, bro. Nah. Six kills. I need six kills. Oh. Uh. Huh, bro. I saw precision. Let's both get a nuke together, bro. Let's go. Bro. Watch out, Frag. Where are they at? <laughs> bro, what man, what's that freak, bro? Last kill dog. What the frick is up, bro? What is up, dude? What is up, dude? What the frick is up, man? Let's freaking go. Double nuke, motherfucker. Let's go. Yeah, call you saying, let's go, bro. Be insane. Oh, and I got a syntax skill, that's crazy. Let's go. To the graveyard too. We the clan, raccoon, in Call of Duty, man, our name is bad news. The raccoon clan got a plan to drag you and all of your